Hi friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today we are going to see working of hydroelectric power plant. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about its construction, working, advantages, disadvantages and site selection for hydroelectric power plant. Basically, power plants are used for generation of electricity. So, main objective of this total arrangement is to generate an electricity. Whereas the name of this particular plant is a hydroelectric, this has formed by two words. One first word is called as hydro and another word is called as electric. Okay. So hydro word taken from an hydraulic whereas electric word taken from an electric energy. So in this particular power plant, the hydraulic energy is converted into electrical energy. What's mean by hydraulic energy? Hydraulic energy is energy which is stored in the water or energy present in the water is called as hydraulic energy. Whereas electrical energy is a flow of electron. So here we are going to convert a hydraulic energy into electrical energy by using this particular arrangement. So basically there are two, three major important parts in this particular power plant. So first part is a dam. This is important part dam. This is another part that's what called as turbine house and third part is pen stroke. These are three important part of hydraulic power. What is a dam? Dam is required to store a water at higher height. So this dam will be at high height whereas a turbine house will be at lower height. If you see actual example of height of dam from the turbine it may be in a kilometers like a one kilometer etc. And this dam is built at higher height and stores the water. Whereas turbine house is on lower side and dam and turbine is connected by using a pipeline. This is a pipeline which is used for connecting dam and turbine house. This pipe technical name is what a pen stroke. The pen stroke is a pipe which carries the water. If you see an actual diameter of pen stroke, the diameter of pen stroke is 2 meter to 3 meter. So you can imagine that a 3 meter means it's almost 10 feet. So diameter of this particular pipeline will be a 10 feet and water will be carried forward. At the end of this particular pipeline, you will observe that there is one wall for opening and closing of the flow of the water to the turbine this is wall and this particular part is called as nozzle you know that the nozzle is a converging area pipe where the pressure energy get converted into kinetic energy so at the entry of the nozzle there will be high pressure energy whereas exit of the nozzle will have a kinetic energy or a high velocity jet of water then this is particular device is called as a turbine so you should know what is meant by turbine. Turbine is a device which will give you mechanical energy as a output. So mechanical energy means any solid part which is rotating or reciprocating or oscillating, we say it has a mechanical energy. If you see around us, the 95% of the time we see rotary mechanical energy. For example, the fan is rotating, so it will have rotary mechanical energy. The rear wheel of your bicycle it's rotating so it will have rotary energy so rotary mechanical energy is very useful in many of the application this turbine will have turbine blade so this is called as a turbine blade or another name is also called as a bucket which is connected to rot uh, rotor this is a rotor white color what you are observing that's rotor so this turbine blade are firmly connected to rotor and at the center of rotor we are having the turbine shaft. So we are going to take a mechanical energy output from this particular turbine shaft. So this turbine shaft will be rotating and this energy will be useful for generating an electric power. After the shaft we will be having the electrical generator. The function of electrical generator is to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Here we are not shown the electrical generator but you have to assume that this shaft is connected to electrical generator electrical generator will take mechanical energy from this and will give you output as a electrical energy so in order to avoid a confusion specifically i have not shown the electrical generator okay there is one more part that's what called as the surge tank the function of surge tank we'll see and later on so we have seen what is dam what is pen stroke what is wall what is nozzle what is turbine now Let's go for understanding working of this particular. How it will work? So assume that the currently this this particular power plant is not working, and we have to start generating electricity. For starting electricity generation, what we have to do is this wall should make it open. Open means what? When we are going to open this wall, the flow of the water will start. So I'll show you animation related to this one. So I have removed the wall from this one means the wall is open now, and then 
the flow of the water will start so you can see that the flow of the water has start jet of water is coming outside and it strikes on the bucket of the turbine when it strikes on the bucket of the turbine it will give force here and because of force the bucket starts rotating or blade start rotating blade is connected to rotor so rotor will start rotating as rotor start rotating shaft also start rotating you can observe here here if you check that the water is coming from this dam and finally we are getting here mechanical energy as a output okay so here there are number of conversion of energies so you can see that the conversion here i have shown you chart potential energy will convert into kinetic energy then kinetic energy into mechanical energy mechanical energy into electrical energy so potential energy into kinetic energy it will convert in the pipeline and the nozzle you can see here that before dam we are having a potential energy what is potential energy potential energy is energy because of its position so as i told you dam is at higher height and as it is at higher height it will have a high potential energy this water is flowing the water will come outside so here we are having high velocity jet of water so as it is having a high velocity i can say it has a high kinetic energy this kinetic energy ultimately converted into rotary motion of uh, shaft and that's why i can say that it has a rotary mechanical energy and then this turbine is connected to the generator i have shown you symbolically and after generator we will get finally electrical energy so there are conversions of potential energy into kinetic energy kinetic energy into mechanical energy mechanical energy into electrical energy okay so these are the converting part now after this when we have to stop this particular turbine what we have to do the wall which was present here that we have to make it close so after closing this particular wall what happens let's check when we are going to close it so let's consider that i have put a wall here means now close and the flow of the water has also stop when we suddenly close this particular wall the water which is rushing through a 10 feet diameter pipe that will give a very high pressure on this particular area inside a pipeline we are having a water and that water will try to rush forward but i have closed this wall and as i have closed this wall the water cannot move forward as water is not moving forward in this area of the pipeline very high pressure is generated because of this very high pressure there is a chances of bursting of this particular pipeline in order to avoid this bursting of pipeline what we have provided is the surge tank what is surge tank surge tank is a simple tank which is connected to penstock when pressure tries to go above the water will get a space and it will enter into what this particular surge tank like this because the water can enter here the high pressure in this particular zone will be reduced and the bursting of the pipeline will be avoided at the same time water hammer effect also can be avoided we can see that by the animation water is filling up and that's why the pressure will be get reduced and as pressure get reduced water hammer can be avoided or bursting of pipeline can also be avoided okay so now